This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. Are you? Huh? I should be careful. High security here. Your life is mine. Looks like someone dug here. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used.
This was right. This is exactly what we needed. Ah! <laughs> 
The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Yes, I'd still be responsible. You are almost too insightful, and you're completely right. If someone should be hurt by any means, and we play any role in that hurt, we are still responsible. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? I follow the one with expertise. Surely they know better than I do. Then your decision is based only on what another says. It's all I have to go off of. And if they lied? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes! You're right! So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not! Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. All we did was talk. What we did was far more. We used proof and clear argument to bring forth an outcome that will not just hurt Cleon, but hopefully save countless lives. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall.
I don't want to be spotted here. This must be Thespis's house. You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure, that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Do something worthwhile and join my crew. You're loyal, and you follow orders. You take me? What do you say? To get away from Athens? Thank you. Thank you. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm just here for Thespis. He's drunk, and I need to get him home. What are you, his mother? Let's say extended family. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raksanor's orders are his not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Give me Thespis, and I'll give you something in return. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Take this, and get out of my sight. Do you think we're farmers that can be bought for beans? Take your money and stick it up your ass! We'll be seeing you, Mystios. The commander's not a man to be messed with. I's not feeling too good. He said, you're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. Whee! Giddy ups! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them, I became both. Told you. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know 
true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who were they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Going to enjoy this. I'll mess that pretty face right up. Can't we come to some arrangement here? I'd never make an arrangement with you. <sighs> You're wasting my time. You need to die!
not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespi said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis's great love. That is love. This is commerce. So, what are you into? No, Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Exenor has made it clear. It would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Rexenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They'd tell him in an instant if I was gone. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with his stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you? Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Exenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Exenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big stupid helms. Makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. <sighs> I'll be back soon. There seems little doubt that Rexenor is aligned with the cult of Cosmos. Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant. But as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change, for the better. I can see there is more in your eyes, but we are all entitled to our secrets. 
It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. Stay hidden if I don't want to fight. You have news of Thespis? He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be his voice. If Cleon should perish, you also know what a peach education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas! The conspirators are murdering me! received word 
So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphibolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Cleon dies now. This is our chance. The plan is already working. Death should be brought early, even to someone like Cleon. He's exactly the type death should come early to. Not all who live deserve to grow old, Socrates. And you decide who deserves it? This time, I do. Ah. Then, safe travels. Us. You're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. After Pilos, what happened? The remaining Spartans found me and gave me time to recover. So I did. But your leg? You disappeared from battle. I was captured. Taken to Athens for an interrogation with Demos and Cleon. They didn't kill you? They tried. So, Cleon's in Amphipolis. Somewhere. And in armor, I hear. He'll fight for his life today. He wants to be the hero. Athenians can't think much of him after what he did. This is our chance, Brasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I came here, didn't I? We're fighting the same fight. You haven't proven that. Let me prove it now. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. I... We need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. Today, we give everything back. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No Some giving up. They don't even care about training. They just do it for the pure love of fighting. Surprise, surprise. But you didn't hear it from me. Apparently, they really don't... Uh -huh. The Athenians are here! Spartans, charge! Archers on the wall! We need to be shot down! Now! Yeah! You're big for me! Ah! 
Athenian camp is ahead! Destroy it all! Cassandra, come now. Show mercy. You turned him against us. My own brother. We lifted Themos up. We made him great, unstoppable. You made him a monster. Then fight by his side. Teach him. You would have Themos once again. His name is Alexios. I beg you, this world is severed, Cassandra, and will unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty of pity. You don't deserve a quick death. But you'll earn what you meet at the gates of Hades. No. Now, kneel. You don't understand. Uh, no one will forget me. Cleon of Athens, I will be remembered. You're already forgotten. That's it. 
Irini will want to know Cleon is dead. And Vrasidas. I should have gotten to Vimo sooner. I'm sorry, my friend. Activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged.
won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. My lamb, you've been gone so long. Brasidas is dead. No. Vimos killed him in battle. And what of my son? Cleon fired an arrow into Vimos' back. The wound didn't look fatal. He could still be alive. Malakas, Cleon! I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's done, Mater. I already sent that snake to the sticks. My family. You're all I have left. Mater, there's something I need to do. I need to go to Mount Taietos, where it all began. My whole life has been spent fighting and running. Running from my past, fighting to forget. I can't do this anymore. My heart was shattered on that mountain. I need to put that night behind me, once and for all. I'm coming with you. This is where everything changed. It's like I never left. of the world. A mother calls out to her child. Touching. Alexios. Please. You use that name as if it means something to me. It's 
the name your father and I gave you. Was that before or after you brought me to this mountain to die? It was the cult. I tried to save you. I did everything. The priest told me you were dead. And they told me you abandoned your son. Alexios, come to me. We are your family. We can go home. Family? <laughs> my sword is my family. The battlefield is my home. I promised to bring him back, Mater. But the cult has poisoned his mind. Promised to bring me back to Mater, did you? <laughs> you didn't bring me here. Why don't you tell our Mater the truth? And what truth is that? That I'm the chosen one! I'm the one with a destiny! I will bring order to this world! You're nothing but a mercenary with a broken spear. The cult controls your destiny, but you don't need them. Together, we can destroy them and bring peace back to this world. Peace. And what under Helios would you do with yourself if there was peace? Milk the goats? <laughs> Look at you! Almighty oh, Mystios. You profit from this war as much as I do. You don't want peace. You just don't want to deal with me. What I want, what I have always wanted, is my family. <sighs> when I was little, I found a lion cub trapped in a snare. My friend tried to free it. That's when I heard the deadly growl of its mother. I watched as the lioness tore my friend to bloody shreds. Even in the world of beasts, a family protects its young! I loved you! I still love you. The one you love is dead. My destiny is clear. And I won't let you get in my way. Alexios, listen to me. You are my brother. I tried to protect you once, and I failed. I will not fail again. to our grandfather. Alexios. Before 
You've seen it yourself. The future belongs to us now. Old gods and new be praised. di Colestino. <coughs> Alex, viemos. Why don't we go hunting tomorrow? I just thought... It's a good idea. And he's good at it, obviously. Sounds like fun. It wasn't so bad, was it? It'll never be the same. I thought it could, but it'll take some work. It's impossible to see through the gods' eyes. They have a plan, you know. If we could, then we'd know just what to do. 
someone's kept their eye on me. You're special! Look at the life they've blessed you with! Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Sandra, it was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, 
a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Cassandra. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption! Dirty drachmi! They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, he's impossible to control. He worked his way to the helm, and then he held even more sway than I did. Malaga! So you were after us! Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. Telling me you're a cultist took guts. You know what I do to cultists, Aspasia. I didn't want to lie to you anymore. Now that they're gone, we can work together. I think we'd make a good match, don't you? I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time, but only certain people can activate it. People like Demos and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something, too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods toward rational society, built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So I let them carry out their plan, 
hands and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. You've made questionable choices. But I think that was the right one. You knew him. All he did was worry about the state of the Greek world. If I told him, it would have ruined him. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new Republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future is not a dream. I'm sorry. I suppose that means you trust me. I... I don't know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. Love is a singular comfort, Cassandra. What comes next means harmony for everyone. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Cassandra. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing.
Mistyos, thank you. Those fuckers thought they could hold me, but they just didn't understand. No prison can hold me. Nobody can hold me down. Not even that stupid order. Right. They were ruining my favorite wine-drinking view with all their mercenaries. No one wants to see trashy mercenaries around their homes. No offense. None taken. You know, I overheard them say they had brought another three mercenaries here. Can you believe that? I'll help you get your view back. Fuck yes! There's three mercenaries, remember. Once they're gone, I'd love to share a cup of wine with you in my spot. Even if you are a mistios yourself. I'd like that. Oh! 